Okay, welcome to the third part of the uh, chapter. This is the equation or the, this is the question from your textbook, the example 12.10-1. So we can look up for the examples now. Okay. Okay, for this example, I'll read the question and we extract the information together. A continuous counter current multi stage system is to be used to leach oil from a wheel by benzene solvent. So you have a meal here, okay, and this meal it contains some oil. Okay, oil will be your solute. Solute here will be your oil. The meal itself will be your solute. Okay, by benzene solvent. So in this case, your solvent or the, the solution that you are going to use to extract the solute itself is benzene. Benzene is your solvent. Okay. The process is to treat 2000 kg of inert solid meal. Okay, when it mentioned inert, it means that it's a solely uh, uh, solid. It doesn't contain any solid. Okay, when they mention inert, I N E R T, it actually uh, focusing on the solid only without having a sol a solid inside it or even a solvent. Okay, you have two thousand kg per hour of inert solid meal. So here. You purely can get B0 is equal to 2000 uh, kg per hour containing uh, 800 kg oil. So your kg oil here okay, your oil here will be 800 kg and you have another 50 kg of benzene so in this process you do have a traces of solvent inside your meal okay uh, the inlet flow per hour for fresh solvent mixture containing 1310 kg benzene so you got 1310 kg benzene here okay and 20 kg of oil the leach solid are uh, to contain 120 kg or leach solid and this in here because like I mentioned before solid won't go up okay so it will remains at the uh, over uh, underflow so solid will be remaining in this part okay none of them we assume that none of them are going up okay so your because the statement says that the leach solid are to contain 120 kg of oil Okay, setting experiments similar to those in the actual extractor shows that the solution retained depends on the concentration of oil in the solution. Okay, the data are tabulated below as n kg in it. So, the data will be on, you have a graph here, it will be n versus x a or ya depending when you you want to plot uh, l naught you will be coupled it with y and when, when you want to plot v and plus one for example you will be coupled it with x so this exists can be either x or y okay calculate the amount and concentration of the stream leaving the process and number of stages required okay first of all you need to determine everything that you have here okay Okay, for L0, the first one, as I mentioned before, L will be everything in uh, liquid form. Okay, in this case, all is in liquid form, pending is, is in liquid form. So your L0 is equal to 850. Okay, the second thing is YA0. 
what is the fraction of the oil itself in the solution. So Y A naught is equal to how many oil? Well, how many kg of oil divided by the kg solution? So your Y would be uh, eight hundred divided by eight hundred and fifty. So you will get a fraction of Y. Okay. B naught, as I mentioned before, it's stated in the question is an inert solid. So this purely 2,000 kg per hour would be the solid itself. Okay, the final one will be the N0. What is the definition of N? N is equal to B over L. So 2,000 divided by L, 850. You will get a value of N. Okay, from the figure, you will have N0 is equal to uh, two point sorry and not is equal to 2.36 and y a not is equal to uh, 0 0.94 so you can plot this one in this graph 2.36 and 0 0.9 here 94 you will have one point that what we call l not Okay, the number two will be this part because you have this information. Okay, what is your Vn plus one? As I mentioned before, L and V is the total liquid solution inside your system. So for this part, both of them is presented in liquid form. So your Vn plus one will definitely be one three three zero. The summation of both. Okay. What is your XAN plus 1? Your XAN plus 1 would be the amount of oil divided by the amount of total solution. So it will be 20 divided by 1330 is equal to um, 0 0.015. Okay. Therefore, you can actually plot because there's no n here why there's no n because there's no solid there okay when there's no solid there everything must lay in the x axis so uh, n is equal to zero x is equal to 0 0.015 then you will get the n plus one here okay as i mentioned before it is the same as a liquid liquid extraction you will have an intersection here so you will create a point where we call end point okay so for that end point you need to solve the balance here okay you got your l naught you got your v and plus one definitely you can find your m you also can do balance on the solid because you got the m value you got the v value you can find the nm because to plot the m value it will be x a m and and m okay therefore you definitely will get one point okay you can do the calculation later okay this is your m point okay and you need another point to make sure that you actually can uh, produce another point so what are the information that be given to you the other information that be given to you that there is 120 kg of oil here okay so 120 kg of oil, now I'll rub this one so that you can see clearly. Okay. You know that, uh, as I mentioned before, when everything's come out from the system, it must be in equilibrium. Therefore, the point itself must be in equilibrium line. So your V1, sorry, your V1 and your LN, must be in equilibrium sorry where is the equilibrium curve i forgot to draw okay, this is your equilibrium curve okay equilibrium curve one another one is in x-axis so this is for your overflow this is your for your underflow okay so as i mentioned before everything's come out from the system must be in equilibrium therefore this v1 must be somewhere here and this LN must be somewhere here, but you didn't know where. Okay, you do have this information. 
the slurry that you have here would be having 120 kg per hour. So, this one, let's say you take one point of L. This will be your LN, but you don't know where. Okay, I just mark it off uh, here so that you know that there will be some L, L, and somewhere here. You can put it here, here, never mind. It's okay. Just for your reference. Okay. You know that when you have a line here from LN to uh, the zero point, you will create a slope, right? This slope, Y2 minus Y1 divided by X2 minus X1. The, the formula for the slope it's, a, it's equal to n n because you are having l n here so you will have n n divided by x a n sorry y a n okay n n divided by y a n so what is the uh, formula of this two n n n is equal to v over L not L B over L okay so kg solid divided by kg solution okay divided because this is n n this is the uh, m uh, the the slope uh, part okay so you have n n divided by y a n okay it's equal to y two minus y one divided by x two minus x1 and nn is equal to kg solid per kg solution yn in the other case is equal to kg solute divided by kg solution but in this case we didn't know what is your ln right you didn't know what is your ln but you know that you can have this equation so what we can do is we cancel out this part because it's the same solution it's ln right you can have kg solid divided by kg solid. You will have one um, <coughs> value here. <coughs> one thousand, uh, 2000 divided by 120. You will get around 16.67. This is the M value here. Okay? So I'll stop here. So I continue because we need to wrap off the whiteboard.